We Nutrition Final Year students present before you a video on factors affecting the stability of food and intermediary moisture foods. Introduction to Food Spoilage Food spoilage may be defined as a process or change which renders a product undesirable or unacceptable for consumption or food spoilage can also be defined as decay or decomposition of food. These changes may cause the food to lose its nutritive value or to become unpleasant or unfit for consumption or even positively harmful to the consumers. These changes are collectively referred to as spoilage. Food spoilage results when microbiological, chemical or physical changes occur, rendering the food product unacceptable to the consumer. Microbiological food spoilage is caused by the growth of microorganisms which produce enzymes that lead to objectionable byproducts in the food. Chemical food spoilage occurs when different components in the food react with each other or with some added components which alters the food's sensory characteristics. Examples of this include oxidation, enzymatic browning and non-enzymatic browning. Physical food spoilage results when moist foods are excessively dehydrated or dried foods absorb excessive moisture. The following flowchart explains the agents causing food spoilage that can be categorized into physical spoilage, chemical spoilage and microbial spoilage which are in turn categorized into different categories such as mechanical damage, infestation by pests and rodents and role of moisture, chemical contamination, enzymes and rancidity, bacteria, yeast and molds. The factors affecting the stability of food. The first factor is the available water. More the available water, less is the stability. Available water increases the spoilage. The next factor is the temperature. As the temperature decreases, the stability increases. The temperature at which food is stored is very critical to shelf life. United States Department of Agriculture, that is the USDA, states for every 10.8 degrees in temperature rise, you decrease the shelf life of stored food by half. The next factor is the moisture. It is recommended to remove moisture when storing foods. For long-term storage, Foods should have a 10% or less moisture content. The next factor is the oxygen content of food. The more the oxygen content, the less is the stability. Food store best when oxygen free. Removing oxygen will prevent oxidation of compounds in foods. The next factor is the pH of food. At neutral pH, the microbe activity is more, so less will be the stability. The last factor is the nutrient content of food. The more the protein content, the less will be the stability. Intermediary moisture foods, that is IMF. The foods which contain 20 to 40 percent moisture and have non-refrigerated shelf stability are referred to as IMF. Examples of which include jams, jellies, sauces, honey, dried foods, fruit purees, condensed milk, etc. In this, preservation is due to high osmotic pressure exerted by the solutes and due to additional preservatives like acids, alkalis, etc. The purpose of IMF foods is to achieve a water activity that the food can be stored safely without refrigeration. These IMF products have wide usage and applications in military and space flights for air droppings of food used in long voyages due to qualities like non-refrigeration, high quality, calorie density and no need for any water reconstitution. The advantages of IMF include IMF water activity reducing pH and decreased use of preservatives. IMFs are often ready to eat and do not require refrigeration. This is especially important in countries with tropical climates and minimal storage and processing capacities. 
nitrites and sulfites are added to food to prolong the shelf life and delay flavor and color changes. Compared to canning, dehydration and freezing, IMF food processing is less rigorous and results in less nutrient loss. This is because compared to other processing techniques, IMF processes are at lower temperatures, pressures and there is no water leaching of nutrients. Some of the concerns associated with IMF are since microbes namely Salmonella and Bacillus cereus can persist in IMFs. However, additives such as nitrites and sulfites are associated with health concerns. Nitrites have a negative connotation in the food industry since they can combine with secondary amines to form nitrosamines which are carcinogenic. Nitrites are linked to an increased risk in cancer and heart diseases. Sulfite is another additive that is commonly avoided due to people having a sensitivity to sulfites. Yeast and molds are not fully inhibited by IMF processing because these microbes can tolerate water activity as low as 0.80. Browning can occur during storage of intermediate moisture, foods and vegetables. Finally, sugar used commonly added as a humectant increases the caloric value of the food. Thank you.